I think this really allows for a quick transition to the surgical management of, say, primary localized tumors. And so if you could briefly discuss that, I think it would be useful. Sure, sure. Uh, without getting into too much detail, the small lower grade lesions, for the most part, it, it is influenced by the nuances of an anatomic location. But for the smaller low, lower grade lesions, I think most people agree that wide local excision is simply the standard of care with important surveillance locally and systemically. For the more aggressive lesions, and particularly as they get bigger, we have to roll in adjuvant modalities or neoadjuvant modalities. And radiotherapy is a cornerstone of that. Most centers, in my opinion, having trained when we did it postoperatively, are now moving towards neoadjuvant or preoperative radiotherapy for a variety of reasons I won't get into right now, but I'm happy to come back to later. And then obviously neoadjuvant chemotherapy to decide to reduce is also a, a, a very important point. But we also know that the margin matters. We need our colleagues to work together to get that tumor out. I mean, you can never stress the importance of surgery and radiation in the treatment of our disease. I think it's a, just invaluable modalities. But I, I think what the real moving target is, and what I'd like to spend most of the rest of our time today talking about, is our standard of care chemotherapy and everything that's evolving, because this field for the first time in a very long time is actually has an influx of a lot of potential new drugs that are going to very quickly start changing the landscape of how the non-surgeons approach the tumors. So, you know, I think, Jonathan, why don't we let you lead off with kind of a discussion of your approach, and we can all kind of chime in, for chemotherapy and advanced soft tissue sarcoma. Yeah, so our approach is really, uh, you know, first to evaluate the patient fully, discuss the patient at multidisciplinary tumor board, and if this is termed an advanced soft tissue sarcoma, then we're in the situation where this is either metastatic or locally advanced. Mm -hmm. Locally advanced meaning that at the current point in time, the resection that would be needed, the oncologic resection that would be needed is, is not appropriate or not acceptable to the patient in terms of morbidity. So then we, in, in order to transition a locally advanced or, or, or unresectable tumor to one that could be resected, we consider alternative therapies to try to get to that point in terms of tumor shrinkage. That could be chemotherapy, that could be preoperative chemotherapy in certain circumstances, that could be a targeted therapy. But the goal really from advanced to, res to a, a resectable situation w requires tumor reduction in size. And so our approach in that situation is to do you know, whatever we can do optimally to get to resection. And that's generally for the usual or, or the common uh, unclassified pleomorphic sarcomas, leiomyosarcomas. Uh, certain liposarcomas is to use preoperative chemotherapy, preoperative radiation, and try to get to a situation where an operation that is appropriate and acceptable to the patient, patient can be performed. We spend a lot of time within the medical oncology group discussing which chemotherapy to use, and our general approach is the one that we believe is most effective for that patient because we're looking for cytoreduction and decreasing the tumor size. So we'll choose the regimen that we believe has the highest response rate in terms of reduction in size. And that's our general approach. We also um, use that opportunity to administer chemotherapy to treat micrometastatic disease as well as to improve local control rates. And so, so preoperative chemotherapy for many sarcoma types is, is standard at our center. There are certainly certain histologies where we don't use preoperative chemotherapy. Some of the tumors that are, are chemo resistant, some of the chondrosarcomas, uh, unless it's in the context of a clinical trial. I mean, I, I think you're absolutely right. I think this is one of the reasons that well, you know, people like you were involved very early on in helping us decide what to do with who 
because you actually have to treat the patient also, and they're very specific kind of sarcoma. And they're not, it's not a one size fits all anymore, and so it's kind of a moving target, and it's evolving, and we're learning. And then everything gets very complicated by the fact our tumors like to fibrose and not change in size. And, and so that's one of the things where I think we as a, a field are very comfortable with that concept, but then everybody outside gets very uncomfortable. If chemo's not working, things aren't getting smaller. They may just be dead and fibrotic. So certainly one of the big challenges is John was just saying is that different tumors behave differently and so having a, a good knowledge of the expected behavior is important in response to chemotherapy or even radiation therapy. Mm -hmm. um, but then what's even trickier is that for a given tumor type it's still quite variable as to what the response is and you don't often know until the tumor is removed uh, in a new adjuvant setting for example um, to see whether or not there was a treatment response. I think, um, I mean, I agree with the, the use of, of neoadjuvant radiation therapy and uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy. The chemotherapy piece, we, the important question that we like to ask the surgeons is, will it help you more if we shrink this tumor? Mm -hmm. The radiation is really important for um, uh, tumors to help with margins um, and local control. Um, but there, the problem sometimes with giving neoadjuvant chemotherapy is that you can introduce toxicity and in some cases it's not effective and the tumor worsens um, instead of reducing in size and so it could instead compromise the ability to resect the tumor. So um, it's a, again, it's a very important thing to discuss in a multidisciplinary right. setting to say- It really is discretionary. Yep, what's, what's, the, what's the risk associated with this as, long as, as well as what are the chances of this benefiting the patient? I, I think that that's the, the crucial thing, that it needs to be a very careful, thoughtful um, decision regarding the use of um, neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Um, the evidence base is limited for both neoadjuvant and adjuvant chemotherapy, and we have to be aware of that and have to make the patients and their families aware of, of that fact, particularly in the uh, context of the long-term side effects of the uh, chemotherapy drugs that are used. And I think you're right, you know, it needs to be a very, very thoughtful uh, decision regarding the histological subtype Regarding the surgical um, management of the patient, if the, if, if the tumor is downstage, will that change the, um, mm -hmm. the operation that's done? And we know that some subtypes are very chemosensitive, others are very chemoresistant, and it needs to be a very, very thoughtful uh, discussion. So, Laura, as a surgeon, can I get your brief thoughts on, say, either regional hypotherapy therapy or isolated limb perfusion therapies, you know, some of which are more classical and not used as much, but what are your thoughts on those? Uh, I maintain healthy skepticism. Um, I respect the, the, those treatments. I don't generally advocate, them, advocate for them because of their issues with uh, associated toxicities to the limb and potentially even systemically. Um, but I also want to make sure that the message is that uh, in this context of a clinical trial, or in the context of something where there might only be a blade of options, mm -hmm. those modalities do have a role. Yeah, I agree. I, uh, and there aren't many centers that do yeah. them either, so it's, it's another challenge as we're right. talking about patients traveling quite a distance to get their care, that adds another layer of complexity where there aren't many centers that do the, the, either one of those treatments. So I'd like to transition.